Let's take a look at this little fruit stand example. I have a column of apple sales and one of orange sales. To find out how many total fruit I've sold in each order, I'll create a new column called fruits. I'll make a formula that adds the apples and oranges for the order, then fill down so that each row has a sum in the column. Taking a closer look at the cells, it turns out that filled formulas have different addresses for each row. These addresses are relative addresses. They are relative because I'm adding together the cell 2 to the left plus the cell 1 to the left for my answer cell. If I copy it or fill it down, the answer cell will always look at the cell 2 to the left plus the cell 1 to the left and add them. What if I copy the fruit sum cell to some random place? The cells referenced are still relative to the answer cell, 2 to the left and 1 to the left. It's important to be aware of this default behavior in spreadsheets because it's not always what we want. Let's try a different problem. Suppose I have some prices set up for our apples and oranges, and now I want to know the total income for each order. The formula is pretty straightforward. The number of apples times the price plus the number of oranges times the price. There, that looks right. Now just fill it down. Well, something went wrong. If we look at the formula, we can see what it was. The relative address was assumed for the price as well as the daily fruit totals. So the price reference for the apples is always three cells to the right and the price reference for the oranges is always one cell down from there. And that is not what we want. What we want is to always, absolutely, Use the cell H2 for apple prices and H3 for orange prices. What we need is an absolute address for the prices. An absolute address is fixed and won't change when it's copied or filled. And that is accomplished by entering a dollar sign in front of both the column and row in the address. The dollar sign in front of the letter tells Excel that the column is fixed, and the dollar sign in front of the number tells Excel that the row is fixed. For the price references, I'll put a dollar sign in front of both the column letter and the row number, so both the column and row for the price cells are absolute addresses. When I fill down, the price addresses for the formulas won't change. They'll stay H2 and H3. Now looking at the formulas, we can see that the cells referenced are the ones we want. 